organization was founded in 1969 by three notable Jews of the Jewish people, René Cassin, a Nobel Prize winner who drafted the Universal Declaration of Human Rights adopted by the United Nations General Assembly, Arthur Goldberg, former Associate Justice of the Supreme Court of the United States, and Justice Chaim Cohen, former Deputy President of the Supreme Court of Israel. Our organization strives to represent the interests of the Jewish people, but also endeavors to defend universal human rights whenever needed. Our organization is considered in the Jewish world, the State of Israel, as well as in international organization, as the most important legal Jewish organization, and in my vision, the legal arm of the Jewish people. Both of my late parents were Holocaust survivors from Poland. I, on the other hand, who grew up in the state of Israel, was never exposed personally to, anti, to any anti-Semitism. And to me, this is mostly a, a unbelievable ph phenomenon. How is that after 70 years, from the end of the Second World War and Holocaust, hatred against Jews raises its ugly head and physical and verbal abuse of Jewish individuals is widely practiced without any tangible motive. After the massacre at Etzachaim Synagogue in Pittsburgh, I believe it's naive to think that antisemitism has been mostly eliminated and only manifests itself by inappropriate verbal conduct borderlining one's right to freedom of speech. It's not. I was elected president of the organization about a year ago, replacing longtime President Irit Khan, who had served in the role for six years and as vice president for many years before that. I would like to take this opportunity to thank again Irit for her devoted service over the years, her friendship and support generously given to me. true that each leader has a way of doing things. And I believe that alongside our organization's historical role of practicing advocacy and education, we must also be an organization with an ability to act and strike back effectively, implementing legal measures against anti-Semitism, Holocaust denial, as well as attempt to eradicate the legitimacy of the State of Israel being the home of the Jewish people unmistakably an additional form of anti-Semitism. The first of such legal action had been a motion against FIDE, the World Chess Federation, after it accepted de facto the boycott of Israel chess players at the contests held in Saudi Arabia. The second had been legal action against the Polish Act of 26 of January 2018, amending the Act of Institute of National Members which had decreed that research pertaining to the participation of Poles in the extermination of Jewish during the Holocaust would be a criminal offense. And we are more cases to uh, follow. The subject of our conference this year proves vital in balancing between two very concerning phenomena. The rise of nationalism and eradication of tolerance on the one hand and religious radicalization on the other. Multiculturalism is the subject we hold dear, uh, attesting to our organization commitment to liberalism and human rights. I wish all of us a very pleasant conference. Thank you.